Shibori is a Japanese term for dyeing fabrics that have first been shaped into three-dimensional forms. It's very similar to Western tie-dye. The fabric is either folded, crumpled, stitched, sewn, or knotted, and then dyed. Shibori is an art form in and of itself, but the dyed fabric is often used to make the traditional clothing of Japan, the kimono. In this project, we'll make a paper origami kimono using shibori dyeing techniques on traditional rice papers. This paper is called kinwashi. It's a machine-made paper from short, thick fibers. It's smooth on one side and textured on the other. This is a full sheet. We'll start by cutting this sheet in half so that each sheet will be enough for two students. For the blot dyeing technique, I'm going to start by folding this half sheet accordion style. From there, I'm going to fold triangles down the length of the strip. In these containers, I've added some Blick liquid watercolor. It's slightly diluted with water. The paper can be blot dyed simply by dipping the tips of the triangle into the watercolor. Experiment with depths and the length of time held in the color. When the dyeing is complete, we're going to unfold the paper to allow it to dry. So I'm going to dip for a long time into the yellow and then maybe just the tip into blue. Those colors are going to combine. Get all three of the tips dyed. And you don't have to get the entire piece of the paper. You can just get tips. So at this point, you're going to want to let it unfold and dry completely. After the paper is dry, here's a piece that was blot dyed previously. You can add further embellishments. Um, this is a metallic paint with a texture roller going right on top of the blot dyeing. You can even use metallic markers for this. Once the entire piece of paper is dyed and embellished, it's going to be cut into six inch strips so that sharing across the classroom is going to be possible. Each student can keep one of their own strips and share two and then receive two that are very different from their own. This makes the kimono much more interesting. To form the kimono, three strips of paper of different designs are glued into an 18 by 18 inch square. So we've got three six inch strips. The top strip will create the collar and sleeves of the kimono and the other two strips will create the skirt. I'll go through the folding steps now, but the origami instructions for the kimono can be found at dickblick.com keyword search shibori kimono. So we're going to start by folding this piece of paper in half to make a crease. So just fold and open back up. Then we're going to fold each outer edge toward the center. And at this point we'll flip the entire piece over. We're going to fold to the center, each edge to the center once again, but we're going to release these little back flaps, the little back edge, as we do that. So fold to the center, and the back comes free there. So you have something that looks like this in the back. Then I'm going to fold the top edge down about an inch. At the start of the second strip, it's about a third of the way down, going to do a fold, just a little teeny pleat, just a little accordion fold. So I'll go down and back up, and that's only about a half inch. Now this, you can open and just press open. This will be the collar. So we're going to open that up and just press these sides down here. And there's your collar to the kimono. 
once again, I'm going to fold these edges to the center. Increase. Now in traditional origami, there, there isn't any cutting being done, but we're going to simplify this a little bit. From this third, one third down point right here where the first paper ends, we're going to cut from the center out and that will just release your sleeve very easily here. And then on the skirt, we're going to start by just folding this out at an angle to create the bottom of the skirt. So a little bit of a fold here, and we're going to angle it all the way out so it opens up toward the bottom. So I want to show you this piece of paper here was dyed using an arashi method, which is a different method from the blot dye. And it's explained in detail on the website. This is a fun method to use for the sash or the obi of the kimono. And that paper comes out looking something like this. So for your final step, you'll just use a piece of the arashi dyed fabric glued to the back. A little bit of quick dry will do that. And you have completed your kimono. The finished kimono looks beautiful mounted on a piece of black mat board. If you'd like to learn more about these techniques and view the teaching standards and materials list to go with it, visit dickblick.com and keyword search Shibori Kimono.